Let's understand the accounting entries for shares issued at discount which are forfeited. Let's say there was a share of rupees 100, the face value is 100, discount is equal to 10, all amounts called. X failed to pay final call of rupees. 10 on 800 shares which were forfeited. Okay, so what happened here is the question says that the face value of shares is 100. There was a discount of 10% on that. All amounts were called, which means that the entire 100 rupees has been called by the company. X, who is one of the shareholders, failed to pay final call of rupees 10. So if he's failed to pay the final call of rupees 10, then basically the amount called is equal to rupees 100. He did not pay the final call of rupees 10, so final call account is 10 rupees. There's no call in arrear because is the final call when the shares were forfeited and the number of shares is equal to 800 which is value is 800 into 100 is equal to 80,000 discount is equal to 10 percent so the amount which have gone to discount must have been 80,000 into 10 percent or 8,000 right So when you forfeit the shares, share capital is to be debited. Why? Because this is the account which would have been credited all through and the debit has to be for the face value of the shares. How many was the face value? It's 80,000. Right? Against this amount, when you would have given a discount, you would have debited the discount account. Now since it's being reversed, so you credit the discount account which is 8000 there is a final call of rupees 10 which means 10 into 800 is equal to 8000 so when the final call was not received it would have been transferred to the final call account so your final call account is also credited by rupees 8000 and the balance will go to share or feature account. How much will be that? That will be 64,000. 80,000 minus 8,000 minus 8,000. So in case of discount, you need to know what happened initially. So if you gave a discount, you had debited that. Now if it is being, if it is being reserved, reversed, it has to be credited. Similarly, the final call account originally must have been debited, now it is being credited. So the catch here is, you should know what all accounts you had debited initially and then it becomes easier for you to identify what should be credited.